Hi, I'm Steve Andrews from Skybreed Discs. And I'm Blake Miles with Team Skybreed Discs. And we are bringing you a Midwestern version of a popular putting game. Uh, we're doing it here at the beautiful warehouse in Bloomington, Indiana. Um, we have six competitors today who will be putting from various different stations. Um, I'm going to be putting the uh, West Side Maiden. Blake? And today I'll be putting with DX AVRs. Um, this will look pretty familiar if you are familiar with disc golf YouTube at all. Um, each player is going to get two putts from a station of their choice, and the rest of the players have to try to make those putts. Uh, and if they make fewer putts than any other player, uh, they will earn a uh, letter for that missed putt. So. And we're counting off to uh, Skybreed is the word that we're playing to tonight. So hoping for a good, fair fight. Some of these guys are a little punchy. Some of them are probably... They've just got out of uh, kind of state institutions, but I think we're ready to go. Yep. So our competitors today, we got Justin Brosmer. Justin, what are you putting with today? I'm putting with the West Side Medium Maidens. Okay. Todd Ronchetti, what are you putting with today? I will be putting with the Flex 2 Rainmaker, oh, Steve. New disc. New disc. New disc. Are those fresh? Yeah, fresh. Oh, boy. Kyle? Yep, I'll be putting with the Gateway Wizards. Okay. Chris Baker, Team West Side? Uh, I'll be putting with the Latitude 64 Medium Mercy. All right, let's get started. Wow, and it looks like Justin is starting off at the top of the half pipe. He's got about a 40-footer here, pretty downhill. Let's see how he does. Oh, and he absolutely stripes it. Okay, oh, that's my one goodness. In. Okay, oh, all right, all right. So there's some room effort. to make so, it, some room to make it. Uh, yeah. And we got Chris Baker lining up the half pipe putt now. Baker from the top. Let's see how he does here. That looks Ooh. good. Ooh. Oh, off the band. Yikes. Good effort okay. there, but he's going to have to make this one to avoid. Oh, oh and there's, an S. there's the first letter of the day from Chris yep. Baker. So we got Steve Andrews here. He's also lining up the half pipe putt. This is, is proving to be tough. We've only had one make out of four. Let's see how Steve does here. He's uh, He's got more of a lofty putt. Oh, and he cans the first one a little bit strong side but it's in and two for two. Wow. There's gonna be some letters happening today, folks. So lucky. <laughs> and Kyle is already putting before the camera's on. Typical Kyle move, but Kyle's one of the strongest putters in the club and he proves it with that putt. He stays just one letter. Now we got Blake going up. First, he's gotta to climb to the top. Tough run. We got Todd. He successfully got up at the top. That's the first thing you got to do before you make any of these pots. Here he goes. Watch the edge. Oh, good run. Good run. And oh, boy. Big bounce. All right. So some damage has definitely been done here uh, from the first station. Looks like three out of our six competitors already have SK. So that's going to be uh, Chris Baker, uh, myself, and Todd. So um, only Steve coming out without a letter draining both putts. What do you have to say about that, Steve? Uh, that is a blind squirrel. Found nuts right off the bat. And the <laughs> other thing is that I am normally a straddle putter. And I couldn't do it because a straddle putt from there would send me to the hospital. So right. uh, I went with the spin putt, which I probably haven't used well, in about three years. So Excellent choice there, my yep. friend. <laughs> All right, Chris, your call. What's, uh, what's going to do the shot going to be? We're going to do a little stepper over the rail over there. A little, okay. little Kevin Jones action, oh, maybe. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Yeah. So step putt, how far do you think that is? Probably uh, 35, 40. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, so you've got to step over the rail. Step over the rail, so make the putt. This is a longer putt than it looks here. This is going to be a tough one, I think. Ooh. Oh, 
Yeah. There's going to be, there's a, that's more of, a, less of a step and more of a kind of little leprechaun yeah, bounce yeah, he's got right. going. Very reminiscent of a, of a oh. 20 years older Kevin Jones. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Testing. Making sure he's got the footing here. It's it's you know, the the foot that you use does make a difference. You are clear to putt, Steve. A little bit, a little bit weak side on that one, and a little short. But hey, that's a tough putt. Oh, this one looks better. Oh, this one. I really hope we're gonna see a make here, but it's not looking great so far. All right, and here's Kyle warming up. Kyle, you're clear to putt. And he's lining this one up. We'll see how this goes for him. Oh, he's oh, going for the- Oh boy, oh, the, that is taking step very liberally. Right, he's going for the bunny hop method. We'll see how that works out for him. Oh, oh, oh better that you, time, but- You haven't gone yet. It's weirder than you think. Running. Just keep it running. So this is, a, this is a lot tougher than you think. Like, I didn't look good, but I didn't get hurt, and it feels like a win. Because it's weirder than a, just a regular step putt. Because Did you even make it over? I made it over. I didn't make it far over, but I mean, you know. All right, so here we go. They're points sitting on the board if you can just make the shot. Oh, that's, oh, there that you go. Smooth. God, that is really sweet. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, that is brutal. That is a backbreaker. Now we're going, we got Todd. So, ooh, look at that. Oh, he's approaching. <laughs> he looks like a horse that might not actually clear the jump. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, good run. He didn't balk. It's over. Shot, oh, boy. Yeah, it's tougher than you think, okay. Okay, now Justin's getting in position. Brosner is a good putt. He sometimes does step putt, so this isn't that all strange, but he's, I think he wants to move with his opposite foot. This is going to be a little weird. Let's see. All right. Measuring it. He's thinking about shins. Now. Oh, good run. That is a good run. All right. Here he goes. Oh. Oh, good pot. All right. Very nice. Thank Way to you. jump ahead. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. We, we definitely have uh, some shakeups here on our, on our scoreboard. So uh, we've got myself, Justin, and uh, Steve at SK. Looks like Todd and Chris have moved to SKYB and uh, Kyle SKY. So it's still anybody's game. Definitely some movement. I have a feeling with these tough putts coming up, uh, we're going we're gonna to have some even more uh, lead changes so yeah it's my call and I think I'm gonna go with my strength which is a straddle make these guys have to go over something high so let's right. break up these spin putters all right let's see it all right Steve Andrews putt here and he's chosen to go for a semi obstructed 35 to 40 footer got to go over the skate ramp and into the basket let's see how he does here he's definitely wanting to put two in there to put the pressure on the rest of us First one is low. Oh, you know he doesn't like that. He's, let's hope that that doesn't uh, play into his confidence on the next one. Hard to come up low on a putt where you have to first go over a skate ramp. And that one sneaks in. You know, Blake, like nothing shakes up your confidence like having someone talk about whether your confidence is shaken. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm sure there's oh, no strategy there's involved in that at all on the commentator's part. Yeah, We've got one. Oh, oh wow. two. Looks and good. That is a strong showing. That is for a Kyle. very strong showing. It is a straddle that's required. I hope that didn't shake up his confidence. Let's see. Ooh. He can only tie. 
Oh, he ties. Ooh. So, we've been counting out 30 seconds. He's got a couple of strokes already on him. Here we go. Todd Ronchetti. Ooh. Deets one to tie, to not lose. Whew. Good run. Oh, here we go. Got Brosmer coming up. He's a pretty good straddle putter. Definitely got a good look at the basket here. Yeah, just jumping in here. Brosmer yeah. does put with a lot of arms, so I yeah. gotta imagine this is gonna be a good putt for him. Oh, oh, and he proves me wrong immediately. <laughs> He's gotta get one just to not lose ground. Oh, and he does, good and putt. he does. There it is. That is a really good putt. If only we That's had good. something to mark a lot. It's good. Yeah, if only golf if only would, if only these. disc golf would invent something. So this is going to be tough for Baker because he's only going to be able to see the top of the band. He's actually not tall enough for this ride. Right. So right. we we kind of had to sneak him through the park officials. Yeah, he he definitely made a lot of complaints about this putt before we started filming, but here he is lining it yeah. up. Oh, oh, it comes up off the wheel. You know he doesn't like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to have to get this one up. And it looks. Oh, mm. we should we should tell him he doesn't have to putt the comebackers. Right. He right. can go ahead and get that right. out. There's you it's full steep speed ahead here. There's yeah, no yeah. no penalties for air balls. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> so with Kyle Sturworf, whatever you know he's gonna do, you know it's gonna be dumb. So, so he's already cheating, it looks like. Yeah. It seems like he's taking practice. Yeah, yeah. First of all, I don't so that's first, his two, right? That's that's his two, and he's done. Turns over. <laughs> yeah. Right. The rest of us have not had a single practice putt for any of the stations. We gotta have we need some like, this is, I mean, they're right. The tour needs officials, because there needs to be somebody to appeal to. It's, it's running rampant at this point. So you've had your two shots, right? Well, why, are, why is that not your two? Wait, do we have, do we have, we can do practice shots? Okay, here we go. This is after after having one and then missing a bunch. He decided he didn't like that one, and I guess he's special because right. I guess we're moving to another position. Interesting strategy to pick a putt he had not made yet, even in practice. He yeah, yeah. knows that this is not a strong putt for him. Well, if he misses oh, he this is. one, oh. I feel like, are you going to pick it up and move it to another spot? <laughs> he didn't like those two. So he... Listen, nice the listen, it's the same thing I've tried to say sometimes. I cheated for you. <laughs> it's not an argument that works very often, but. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, gosh, it is an, it is an open, it's an open frame. Oh, gosh. Now Todd's coming in. I mean, this is going to be, it's going to be tough to just hit the ramp. So let's see. Ronchetti. Oh, God, good run. Good run. Oh, there you go. Oh, that is, he needed it so bad. He needed it. Here comes Brosmer. Okay. Brosmer needs one to get off the schneid and then another to score. Oh, okay. Now he has to move from aggressive to defensive and, oh, just short. <laughs> Baker's now getting set, got to back up. Yeah, evidently this is a position that's pretty far back. You gotta imagine he's pretty nervous on this. There's only been one putt made and do you think he's gonna add his name to the list? Oh. Not yet, he's, he's one for two. Don't think you can throw it into the ring. Oh, oh boy, it's gonna be tough. And over. Oh man, this is proving to be a tougher station than it looks. We were warming up on this putt, lots of putts being made. Kyle backs it up a little bit away from the ramp, and it's made it a lot more difficult. We'll see how Pro Professor Steve does here. He's he's you know he's gone to school on this putt for for at least the last five minutes. Oh, and that is miserably <laughs> short. And uh, how is he going to continue to line up a putt? Yes. And that one also. Two feet further. So our competitors are now taking notes that spin putts are might just be Professor Steve's weakness here today. 
So we've had a change of scores here. We actually skipped a station, but we were keeping scores. Yeah. So right now it looks like Chris Baker, only one letter from elimination. He's gonna have to go big. He's and then Todd is right behind him. Todd came up big on that, getting the only putt in that station, but he only has two left. So he can't miss two or else he's out. And then the rest of us were all tied with four letters. So it's gonna be, it's real tight. And a couple of guys are on the edge of, uh, of, of getting removed. Yep. We are climbing up that uh, Blake's choice, and he's got staff helping him. Looks like we're going elevated putt on top of the skate ramp. All right, it looks good. Now there is a wall behind it that could make that putt easier, but I guess you have to get to the wall. We'll see. I don't know where he's going to put us. Where is he going to put us? All right, he's looking, sizing it up. Oh, he's walking around. Oh, it's a big putt. It's getting bigger by the second. Look at this, okay, now it's getting a little shorter. Oh, he's gonna put an obstacle in the way too. Oh, we got a lot of stuff going on. Oh my goodness, this is a giant putt. Oh boy, Blake is gonna make a challenge here. This is a great looking putt. Oh, this is a eagle at the all-star event, kind of 100 feet out. Oh, almost got the bank shot. Oh, that is fantastic. What a great looking putt. Oh boy, that is great. That is why you come out and you pay the money to sit here and watch this. This is why you're in the stands. Fantastic. Todd is looking down the barrel of having to get this putt in. You can jump putt. There's lots of room back there. I mean, if you can bounce it off, Blake almost bounced one in, but he's got to make both. That is a ton of pressure on a young player. Okay, here we go. It's up. No good. And that is a brutal roll away. And oh, there you go. One more just for pride. Playing with a lot of pride here. And off to the races. Oh, that's right. Todd had two to play with, so he's just got one letter, so he's still still in the game. Justin. Oh, God! It would have been gorgeous. would have been gorgeous to bring it back. He's got one more. Just to equalize and stay in the game. Beautiful, fantastic putt. Again, this is, oh, this is why you're here. That is a great-looking putt. Now it's Baker who has to make both. Got to bring them both in. No problem. Here you go. Big jump and bring it in. Stay in the match, he's got to make them both. Oh. <clears throat> What's up? Good line. Oh, good line. Oh, nice run. All right, and Steve Andrews lining up the putt as his competitors try to razz him by getting their discs out of the basket. Oh, there he goes. Baker makes it up the ramp, clears out the basket for his good buddy Steve. Some real camaraderie even after being eliminated. You got to imagine Steve's a little nervous on this. I mean, He's only seen two putts made from, from a strong field, and this is a long putt. This is probably playing at least 50 feet, a little bit obstructed, uphill, and he's, oh, just left. That was the chain high, but comes up a little bit left, doesn't get the bank. So he's got to hit this to avoid getting one letter. And it's up, it looks good, and it's oh, in for Steve. Wow. Avoiding a letter, that's big time stuff right there, folks. That's, that's ulti world author type stuff that you're seeing right there. <laughs> and Kyle. Kyle's gonna have to try to make this putt even though his teammates are just falling all over the place, all around him. It's up, it looks good. Oh, and he buries it, wow. Now I think the rest of us might be feeling a little something. If he hits this, he could deal out a letter to the rest. And it's short. Wow. 
not a lot of movement on that station, surprisingly. A lot of the players coming up and, and hitting big putts when they need to. Doing big boy things here. So Chris, your first out, what do you think? How was the competition? Competition's tough. Um, you know, I left a lot of putts out there, like all of them. Yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> a lot of them. So, yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe, now, maybe next time. If you were going to re-rack it, would you have a different strategy? Would you pick a different shot? Would you? Yeah, I don't know. It's yeah, fun, having yeah. a good time. Maybe just put a few, like, make more putts. Close, <laughs> make more putts. Yeah. OK. Yeah. All right. Well, hindsight's twenty twenty. If I had known I was only going to deal out two letters with that putt, I probably would have backed it up a little more. But yeah. Chris Baker is eliminated. Todd Ronchetti also getting a letter. He's only one letter away from elimination. Um, and the rest of our competitors still uh, only at B. So they've got four letters to go. Um, we're going to see how it plays out. Yeah, it's going to be tough. I mean, uh, we've done a lot of the kind of easy ones, like, you know, long and straddle. So I don't know what we'll come up with next, but something's going to happen to shake this team up and uh, start getting some people to drop out. That's right. I think we're going to start getting spicy here. Yep. So it looks like Todd Ronchetti, on his last life here, is going for a scuba putt in the same position. This is probably about 35 feet, elevated about 7 feet. So we're going to see how this goes. He's looking maybe a bank. Nope, that's a miss. And he gets the ramp. Putter going 30 feet behind him after he putts that one. He's going for another scoob. This one's better. Oh, but not quite. That's not what he wanted there. He did not want to go goose egg on his uh, what may very well be his last putt of the day. We'll see how this, we'll see how this goes. What do you think, Steve? I think, I think if you're Todd, I think it was good to go with something unusual that he can throw pretty well. So. But now he's at the situation where if anybody can put it in, he's out of the game. So he's kind of, it's kind of tough. You're hoping now to blank it out. And that's, I mean, it's a hard shot, so it's possible. Certainly a hard shot. No makes yet. Justin putting some good bids on it there. Uh, he was on what I think you would call the strong side for that scuba putt. Um, the bank is certainly in play. I think we might see one bank in here. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see it. Steve going for the scuba now. Oh, and he's, he's a little off the mark on that one. Clearly not a putt he, he goes to very often uh, on the course. And he gets it high enough that time, but a little right. So still, still no movement on this station. Let's see what Kyle does. Kyle's a guy who's known for being pretty crafty on the course. Uh, his putts, he, he just tends to just find the bottom of the basket somehow. We, we don't really know how, but and he's, oh, this one looks good. Oh, and he just eliminates Todd with the dead center scuba putt. That's got to put a lot of pressure on the remaining players, which I want to say might just be me. So uh, we've had an incident here. Evidently, our players didn't realize that the basket is in two pieces, and if you take it down off of something high, it will fall on you. So everyone learned something. This can be a PSA moment for all of us, which is if you take a basket apart and you hand it to someone who's below you on a skate ramp, it'll fall on you. So the more you know. So just like that, Todd Ronchetti has been eliminated. So that leaves Justin, Steve, Kyle, and myself still in. Uh, it looks like Justin and Steve still have uh, three to go. Yeah. And Kyle and myself, both with four spots remaining, four letters to go. So still tight, anybody's game. Uh, we're going to have to see some hard putts, I think, to get more letters on the board. So, Todd, how, how was it out there? Well, you know, I came out here not to finish last, so right. I'm taking tonight as a win. It is uh, a win, yeah. I mean, fifth is right right before six. Yeah, right before, so yeah, not yeah. last. No, 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 not last. Like, right. no one remembers who comes in fifth. Right. So Everyone remembers I'd, who comes I'd in sixth. I'd end six. on a shot. I figured it'd be cool if one of us made. So sure. I'm glad a couple of us made it tonight. Yeah, good make. Yep. And, uh, yeah, we still got a lot more competition to go. Thank you. All right, so Justin is lining up a huge putt here. He's going from the top of the skate ramp, roughly 50 to 60 feet onto the top of this other skate ramp. This is gonna be pretty huge if he can make even one of these. Oh, it's, it's high enough. Oh, he just misses it. Important to note, you cannot jump putt or follow through really on this putt because it's a six foot drop down to the ground. So he goes, he goes 0 for two. We'll see how Steve Andrews does. Steve not known for having a super fast direct putt. Um, we'll see if he can make the adjustment on this basket, but uh, after Justin whiffs them both, oh, and that's coming straight for the camera. That one never had a chance, but he's probably gonna make the adjustment on this. 
and it's also low. Mm. You know, Steve doesn't want to do that, but with how long of a putt this is, he might be okay. I think even if one of these putts goes in from any of our competitors, that would be pretty impressive. This is not a huge putt, like I said, with no follow through, and this looks good. Oh, just left. And he's gonna put it up again. Oh, and left again. You know, he doesn't want to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and hand it over to Todd Ronchetti, who's gonna continue the commentary. How's it going, everyone? We're uh, waiting on Blake to get ready to uh, get up the ramp and fire off this shot. That is a tough putt. It's it's not just that it's long, but it is long. But it's also that you you kind of know that if you lose your balance and you don't you try to put too much on it, you can come tumbling down. So it takes real control. I mean, the, the putts that these guys are throwing are really good to get them that close, to get them at the basket with speed. There's another one. Whew, good run. He could give, make everybody cry if that, oh gosh, that's a good run. Steve Andrews choosing the station now. He's got about 35 to 40 feet, level putt, but both himself and the basket up on kind of a pedestal here. So we'll see how this goes. This is definitely in Steve Andrews' range. I, I, I bet he's gonna make at least one of these. Going from a straddle. That looks good and it's dead center. Oh Absolutely hearted it. You know his competitors are feeling that a little bit. I know I am. Let's see. Let's see if he can go two for two. It looks good. Oh, and it's just short. All right, that's good. That's a good, uh, good showing there from Steve. You, you got to believe Kyle's going to put at least one of these in as well. He is known to be deadly from this range, has no fear of any putt, and that one is absolutely dead center. He's probably going to do that again, I have a feeling, but we'll see. And it's left. So Kyle avoids taking a letter, but not giving any letters himself. And I'm going to hand this over to Steve. Yeah, it's hard because Kyle, again, is a weird putter who's going to make a lot of weird shots. Blake is really solid, has a spin putt that puts a lot of pace on it. Comes out with a lot of hyzer usually. So as long as he can read the shot right, ooh, a lot of pace. He can tie and not lose. Oh, he does. Ooh, nice putt. And now it's Brosmer. Putt. Justin is squared up. Ooh, now, beautiful putt. Not Justin to score. Yep, oh, he did it. Oh, what a shot. If you, if you think it's going to be something silly, it's definitely going to be Sturwolf. So I think he's doing moving skateboard rolling past and has to... You have to throw it before the yellow line. Okay. Got to throw it before the yellow line. Sitting on the skateboard. Sitting on the skateboard. Sitting on the skateboard. Sitting on the skateboard. So okay. I wonder what the chances are he actually releases before the yellow line. I would say about zero. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. It's, yeah. it's really like trying to play chess with a toddler. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know you're going to win, but you don't yeah. feel that great about no, it. No, you might lose. You could. Yeah, you might lose. That's the, that's the frustrating part. Sure. Here we go. Not sure when he released it? You know, it was close. I, I would give him that. I think he did yeah. release it, but yeah. the putt was just so bad that it does distract from the actual release point. I, 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 think, I think it hurts the integrity of the entire game to have Kyle involved. Right. <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. I think he's well past it by the time he released. It's moments like this when you think you may have aged out of this game. <laughs> yeah, it's moments like this that you think, I probably have aged out of this game. <laughs> well, because it looks really smooth. Maybe it's about as hard as it looks. Okay. I haven't been on a skateboard since 1985, just to put that out there. <laughs> Steve, do you remember when skateboards were invented? 
I, I do remember when skateboards were invented, yeah, yeah. It was at the 1904 World's Fair. It was a great time for all of us. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Got to make a lot of things happen at the right times. It's easy to laugh when you haven't had to do it yet. I'm so glad I'm out right now. So has anyone made... Oh, Kyle has made one. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to deal you back in for this? <laughs> My bones hurt just watching this. Yeah. Oh, boy. There you go. That's, that's right. That is, that's good stuff. <laughs> oh! oh! And while somehow two of our competitors have made the skateboard putt, it, moments like this, you just got to shake your head and, and, and nod the cap. But, you know, tip your cap because this is really, so really difficult. For this, right? Yeah. This one right oh, and wow, a really good effort. Steve releases the putt clearly earlier than the rest of the competitors. That was about a 15 to 20 foot putt he just released there. Stance violation. <laughs> so let's see if he can make the adjustment here. Making adjustments while you're rolling down a hill on a skateboard, uh, not easy. It's almost a, it's, it feels like a poke and pray hole. You know, you, you just have to. The old yeah. eight foot poke and pray. The old eight foot poke and pray, it'll get you. Let's see what Steve does. And that's, that's more like what we expected. Uh, so a couple of letters for myself and Steve, one letter apiece, but wow, well, I hope we never have to do that putt again, and I hope it doesn't come back around to Kyle to choose. After uh, that display of grace and balance, we uh, now have, uh, <laughs> I got a letter and you got a letter? Yes. So we, so each, we each are looking at possible elimination. All right, Steve, you've got one chance left. One chance left. I've got two chances left, and then Justin and Kyle sitting pretty with three chances left yeah. so they have r you have two e's i have one e yeah um basically at this point it's it's stay alive make every putt and you might move on but the misses are going to become more and more costly for it's, all of us it's real pricey and uh i am looking at uh at, at the hangman i am really right up against it and got to probably make them all blake what are we doing oh okay yeah so we're going <laughs> for this slide putt here uh you just have to hit the flat surface here anywhere on there before going in so if it doesn't touch this, it doesn't Okay, here we go. So he's gonna do the slide. He's never done oh, off to the side. This might be a little trickier than he had signed on for. If you slide it straight down, you have a good idea, but you gotta have so much power to get there. Oh, there you go. That's the shot. That's the shot. We'll see. I mean, yeah, it's fine. Right up in there. Justin now? Sitting good. Okay. Now we got a second shot just to stay level. Oh, okay. All right. So it does seem like there's a secret to this putt. I don't want to say it too loud because I am in danger of getting a letter if somebody does both. And that's in. Wow. He probably got one of those 50 50s, and this is going to be. Oh, it's short. Oh, no. And that's not what I expected to see. I expected to see all of these players blasting deep, if anything. So we've got Kyle here, and I have a feeling Kyle is going to be. He's definitely gone to school on all these putts, and he's going to do that. Oh, and it's a miss. That pops out left, and there's no letters given to those who have made one. Wow. Uh-oh. Oh, he's got it. Yep, and that's in. All right, all players making one. All right, so Justin here, he's lining up about a 60-footer over about a 12-foot tall net, and he's going to try to make this. I, if he makes one of these, that's going to be really bad for the rest of our competitors, and this is close. Oh, my goodness. Oh. This looks wide. Oh, another good effort to run these chains. It looks like he has. Oh, but 
but it's just a little much. But Steve puts a good move on that one, just a little short left. And uh, the drought continues for these players on this difficult putt. So here goes Kyle. Doesn't necessarily suit his putt, but we know that this guy can hit from just about anywhere. Oh, and he goes through the gap and comes up short again. It seems like that's the common miss. Players are coming up short and left of this basket. He's looks like he's made the adjustment. This could go in. Oh! It's a, I mean, it's a makeable yeah. putt. It's, it's a makeable putt. The difficulty is getting it. You think you have to throw it so high to get over, and then you end up throwing it over of the basket. So the thing How is. How does it look from the other side? How high? I mean, it's not, you know, it, to be honest, it's not that much higher than I would throw a jump putt from that distance anyway. Like, probably better to just throw it like a normal putt. So somehow I managed to make it to two rounds and not get eliminated. So yeah. I've got one letter left. Right. No changes in the last two yeah. rounds. Uh, obviously, those were too easy or too hard. Uh, <laughs> take your pick. Yeah. Um, but you've got the floor here, Steve. What are you going to go with? I'm going to go with um, a balance on the balance beam make the 30 footer, but have to show balance all the way through the putt. Okay. So, so no falling off the beam. No falling off the beam. Okay. All right. Sweet. Not sure if you can tell, but this beam is not fastened to the ground in any way. And he's up and he's canned uh, the first one, but he's got to get his second putter. Wow. That is a statement right there from Steve Andrews. He clearly does not want to go home yet showing the rest of the guys that he is firmly in this competition. Here goes his second putt. Let's see if he can have that same control. This one's left. And okay, one putt. That's going to be, that's a good putt for Steve. So he's, wow. Kyle going for some different footing here. He's going more parallel to the bar. Let's see how that works out for him. The first one's up, and it's left, but close. He's gave it a good bid. He needs to make this one to avoid a letter, and he makes it. Wow. Blake stepping up and stepping down. And up. Ooh, hyzer out a little left. Chance to reset. And down, and up. Oh, this is about, yeah, the balance is something you gotta keep thinking about. So you gotta keep thinking about it. And and so, Is this for the win? Uh, he could not. If he makes both, he knocks me and Blake out. Okay. Yeah, so, so right now, Blake has got a letter. If he makes this, he knocks Blake and me out. Oh God, brutal! Here goes everyone. It is a two-horse race. It is a two-horse race. I'm a D. And then there were two. That was brutal. Wow. Yeah, that, that one hurts uh, both of us here on camera. Uh, Steve, how do you feel knowing that that was the putt that you chose and it ended up being your undoing? You know, when after I made the first one, I felt pretty good. And then after I met, missed the second one, I still thought, okay, they're not going to make two. Right. And Different experience on my end. As soon as I stepped onto that bar, I had a feeling I was going home today. Yeah. So, I mean, it was brutal. I mean, Justin has a... Has a good spin putt, lots of hyzer, doesn't have to move his body much. So right, there right. it was. And Kyle, I mean, he's a wild card. He can sure. make just about anything. Sure. So we'll see. Now it's just down to them. And so if you look over there, There's, there is some rock that's running, the though. kind of thinking they are bringing to it. So God only knows what's going to happen in the next round. So, so, so just a quick uh, follow-up here. It looks like Justin has three letters left and Kyle has two. So things are tight. Justin with the one shot advantage, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna watch this exciting finish here. Yeah, I think that things are about to get even crazier. Kong on the side of the Sears Tower. Wow, that was a good effort, but he does miss. Okay. We'll see what he does here. He's, he looks focused. He looks focused, and oh, wow! 
boy, this could be it. Could yeah, Justin no. could Justin do the double knockout again? He, he might just do it. You can tell that he he feels it. He really wants to put the boot to his good buddy yeah, yeah, Kyle yeah, yeah. here. That really really would just make his whole trip out here worth it. And they are they are doubles partners, and they're also if you've ever played with them, they're like a dysfunctional, very old married couple. Absolutely. So Absolutely. There is nothing that he would like more than to send him home right here back to back. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, okay. He won't be going home just yet. Now Kyle bought himself another round. Still the opportunity to make Kyle sweat a little bit if he can bury this one. And oh, there it is. Good. God, goodness gracious. Oh, boy, there you go. <laughs> that is that is athleticism. Oh, he's going to help him up. Look wow. at this. What's, wow, this is inspiring but this is, stuff. this is wanting Kyle to fall and then feeling guilty when he right. hits the ground and helping him up. That is, that's their relationship in a nutshell. Sure, sure. yeah. And, yeah. Here we go. This is now, Justin has three in hand. Kyle's down to his last one. This is gonna be an epic comeback if Justin can, if, if Kyle can come back. But this is Justin looking to drop the hammer. Notice how Kyle not helping Justin move the basket here. No. I wonder if that's a little bit of strategy involved. Because, uh, you know, Justin clearly a bit winded after that. Yeah, it was a lot of movement. I think, yeah. funny thing was, uh, Justin thought he'd won. I think he was waiting for yeah. the ticker tape to fall. Right. It didn't fall. There was no parade. He's still got to finish this out. Yeah, unfortunately, I left the confetti cannons at home, so it <laughs> won't be as much of a celebration as I think Justin's hoping for. Here we go. Long putt. Oh, this is going to be interesting. It's probably about, what do you think, 60 feet? Yeah, I'd call it 50 to 60 feet. Uh, 60 feet? You got a backstop if you could use it. Yeah. Oh, oh, that is just wow. a, that is a that dagger. This is so good, it goes right in the basket. It's totally blind. Justin can't even see it over this wall. Now he's got his second putt. It's up and, oh, oh boy, if that goes in, it is all over. Okay, Kyle has got, can't even see it. He's gotta throw it over. He's gotta make it or he goes home. This is it. I, I, don't, I don't know how you could make this putt. I, I don't know. And up and no, it is short. That is going to be tough. There it is. It's up. It's, it's a good enough. run. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Wow. Oh, are you kidding me? You can't write this. I mean, this is crazy. Wow. 60 put feet can't see the basket. Unbelievable. And he, he squares it up even more center than Justin. I mean, Justin didn't even know he made his. Kyle knew the, it out of his hand. The key is, though, you've got to throw that. I mean, Kyle did the right thing, which is whatever you do, you have to throw it hard enough to get there on a line. Yeah. And yes. just take your chances whether you got it in the right spot. And it pays off. And now he's got his choice of putt. But he's also up against a guy with three in hand. He's only got one to survive. If he misses one putt, he can go home. So That's he's got to pick right. something that that Justin might not be able to make. So if he makes it too easy, he can't. He, all he does is give it right back to Justin to make another choice. I mean, it's really tactical now, right. right? If he goes with something that's easy that he knows he can make and stay in the competition, he's going to give Justin the chance to pick another one of those impossible putts he's got to make. Absolutely. And Justin, he's proven that he has just been so solid today. You almost can't count on him to miss anything. He's yeah. been hitting from almost every station. Yeah, he's an assassin today. Oh boy, oh we've boy. Got a, we've got a turbo putt on our hands here, ladies and gentlemen. Kyle going for about a 25 foot turbo putt from a platform to another platform, almost making no difference. Oh boy. The turbo is really the factor here. And he's missed the first one, and you know he's gotta be sweating he's, now. He's Justin got, only needs to make. Justin he, needs he, to make two now. He has to make two, but, but we'll but. see if he can put this in. Okay, he does. okay. okay that's, that's a good job from Kyle there. Justin now needs to make both to send him home. That's right. Um, but I don't think I've ever seen Justin throw a turbo I don't putt, think so I seen. don't know what we're going to see here. Yeah, it could go anywhere. Oh, that's, oh I, that's, I suppose that's why I've never seen Justin I, throw a turbo I've got to tell you, that sounds... Out. I mean, you'd never think that Kyle's going to do the tactically smart thing, oh, but he does, oh, oh. and he reverses it. Okay, so oh. Kyle giving Justin a letter now. That was a good effort. That could have gone in. I got it just a little low. I got to tell you, the idea that you're going to pick a short turbo putt I felt like a crazy, risky play, but it was turned out smart. I suppose that's why he's still in the game and we're not. <laughs> that's right. Goodness gracious. <laughs>
But now it's Justin's turn. Justin still has two in hand. But the thing about this is you sit there and play confident because you've got more in hand. And then all of a sudden, now it's even. If he doesn't wow. come through and make these, he's against the other side. Yeah. Is he going to go back? Oh, he's going for a second bite at this. Look at this. It is a return to your first putt yeah. to start it out. Yeah, so Justin definitely playing with his more spinny putt. He knows that these long distance putts, he might have a little bit of an advantage on Kyle. Kyle, very good from distance, but Justin does get a lot more spin on the disc. So we're going to see if that pays off for him now. Yeah, Kyle has that big, loopy kind of hyzer putt. Oh, that one's low and right. Never that's, really gave that a that's chance. That's nerves. That's oh, nerves. He's definitely feeling nerves on that putt. Oh, boy, come on. This one's oh. high, but too high. He's scared. Wow. Oh, so, he is. So at now, if he Kyle is, makes both of these, he could send Justin home. He could send Justin home. Oh, that is a thing in which you play, you play confident because you feel like you got some in hand, and now the reversal is potential there. Tough putts for him. He's got a big loopy hyzer putt, but possible. When he starts feeling them, they can go in from everywhere. Oh, this one looks good. Oh, oh low. just okay. low. So Justin definitely has a ticket to compete, but are they going to be all square after this throw? Good run. Oh, God. So nobody ringing it up on that one. I almost think you could go for a 25-foot putt from the edge of the circle and maybe win this thing. Yeah, you, you might be able to get away with that at this point. I think both of these guys must be extremely nervous. We haven't seen a putt go in now in an entire station. He's walking like a caged animal. He feels the pressure. He, he really now, the advantage is still with Justin. I mean, that, uh, is he going to go turbo over this wall? Oh, no, sidearm putt. Oh, boy. Wow, you this know, could I, be – I kind of like this play from Kyle because he's a, he's a sidearm dominant player. Yeah. But does he have it with the putter? This is – Oh, mm. not on that one. Had the height, but, but he's just well, gotta, well left. He's just got to get one to work it back. Uh, oh, oh, good it's catch. It's, wow, and that's uh, a big I putt. i got to tell you, I have one of those dynamic disc baskets at home, and it never catches that well. Yeah. That was a – that is a kind of basket catch running out in the middle of center field. That was fantastic. It's, I mean, if Kyle can pull out the win here, it's, I mean, this would just be one of the greatest sports stories of all time. I mean, <laughs> Justin had him against the ropes. And he's, oh, and he puts a good move on it. Hits the camera. Hits the camera. Seems We're going to have to tell him to wait for just a second because our shot has been affected by that. But I, I don't know if that's a penalty or not. We, we, we might let it slide this time. Give him a warning. So, now it so is 1-1. One, one. All tied up. This is what you come here for. This is what we hoped would happen. This is crazy. I mean, I would have never thought if you had three. If you have three in hand and the other high has one. I mean. I mean, you come back to that putt over this wall. That, uh, he couldn't see the basket. I mean, that was the moment that it turns around. We'll see what happens. It's in. Justin's got it in hand. Yeah, it, inspiring <sighs> stuff we're seeing here from Kyle. <laughs> it it is. has got to be sweating. We haven't seen him make a putt in some time now. Yeah. Kyle. We're going to see what happens. Oh, no. We might have to oh, reposition no. Uh, oh, no. Station. What is he doing? Oh, no. Justin's getting... Why? Don't do this. Don't go stupid. Don't go with it. Don't go with a crazy oh, shot. No, he's, he you does don't want, have the skateboard. But you don't want to do a crazy shot against Kyle because he's the he's, he's like a circus animal. He's, you don't want to do that. Kyle has proven that the skateboard oh, is in his comfort zone. Oh, Justin boy. Justin's going to try to use that against him. Oh, I don't know how this, this is This is work. a risky play. He's oh, oh. What is happening here? Okay. I that can't. I, don't think, I think. I think the phone is ringing and OSHA is on the line. This cannot yeah, be safe for a workplace. We, this we is may crazy. Have to edit this out of the video. I'm not sure. I, I feel like someone's going to lose an insurance writer. What are we doing? Oh, but this is a sign that Justin is reeling now. He is. He is. I he's mean, he's not giving up yet. He hasn't, no, he but hasn't realized that this, there's no way this I, is going to work. He's and, okay. There. He's. he's I mean, you just. Justin Brosmer looked into the face of madness. That would have been insane. Wow. What are we going to do now? Oh, no. So he's got a folding parking sign here, and I don't, I'm not sure what he's got in mind here. Do you think maybe he'll try to go something under the sign? I don't know. Yeah. Here's a setup. So Justin, oh, from a knee. He's lining up putt through a triangular sign. This is about a 30-footer, I would say. Maybe a little less, just inside the circle. This is a tough putt. Any deviation left or right could cause an immediate miss. Kind of like we just saw there. He catches a piece of it. 
This is a tough one. You gotta pick one. Oh no. And he's missed both. It looks like getting the height on this putt is extremely difficult. As you can yeah, tell, it gets smaller towards the top. That's right. That's right. So, but this is this is the thing you don't want to put Kyle in this position to make something out of nothing. Oh, right. Keep in mind, any putt that Kyle makes, this is this is for the win. Okay. All right. So, difficult station there. All right. So Kyle has is lining up about a 50 footer here, obstructed by the skate ramps. He has to kind of ante this one around to even have a chance. This is a tough putt. Oh, it's a good run. Good effort. A little low, but he had it right on the right on target. Okay. See if he can give it the height this time. Now, if he can make it, he can win. If he loses, it's in Justin's hands. Oh, oh, oh God, what a good putt! Now, now, I wonder if Justin, seeing that, is going to play for an intentional bank, or if he's just going to go pure any. We don't normally see him throwing any putts. No, 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 no. It's contrary to his normal flight, but he's got to realize that now he can't lose. Gets one in. Oh! And game over. Wow. Justin Brosmer is our Skybreed Discs putting game champion. God, that's a good putt, too. Right wow. dead center. Just with the pressure off, he just absolutely cans it. I mean, you're in a good spot, right? You have you can make either one of them, and if you don't make it, it goes to you. So, yes. so that's... that's big for Justin. Great play. Winning Great the play. first inaugural you putting championship. So I'm here with the runner-up of our Skybreed Disc Putting Championship, Kyle Strowerf. Kyle, how do you feel about your performance today? Well, I would got to say I had a great comeback, but I think my putter choice bit me in the end because that had to be like a nice Anheuser. And uh, Justin has some understable putters compared to the Wizards, which is more overstable, you know, which it hysered out too soon, you know. But what what do you think? Heck of a putt. Heck of a putt. Absolutely. What do you think was your favorite putting station today, Kyle? It's got it, it's got to be the skateboard down the ramp. Yeah. It was pretty entertaining. If you're coming for entertainment, that was entertainment. I had a feeling you'd yep. say that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, great job. Unfortunately, couldn't come out with a win today. Justin uh, really kind of put it to you there in the end. I thought you might come back. Oh, it was close. Couldn't quite get it done, but excellent job either way. Thank you. I'm here with the winner of the uh, Skybreed Putting Challenge, Justin Brosmer. Congratulations. Thank you. Great Thank play. You. I have to say that uh, Blake and I, when we were watching, you had three in hand and ready to go, and you made it over the fence blind. I thought I sealed it right there. I thought you had sealed and it right there. And then Kyle just drilled it on his second putt. It was incredible. That's a, that was probably one of the toughest putts of the day that it was a legit putt. There was some wild stuff out there, but it was a great time. Great great competition today. It yeah. was awesome. So, I mean, would you, did you feel when you were up three that you had it, like it was done? Not with Kyle right there because <laughs> I've seen him make the most ridiculous comebacks in tournaments, and he's the best putter in the club. It's just not even an argument. So, yeah. uh, I knew I had – I, I had to make something happen, so I've tried some wild stuff. and That's great. You know what? Uh, Kyle out. said that it comes down to equipment, that uh, the maiden is a better putter I than the would wizard. Agree. I would and, agree. So, I mean, I guess it's if you have the best equipment, you can uh, <laughs> you can make some putts. Yeah. Congratulations. That last Annie putt, you don't usually putt Annie. Only when I have to. Yeah. Yeah. So, it good worked shot. out great. Thank you. And congratulations. Thank you. Thanks so much. Well, that wraps up our putting competition today. Uh, we want to give a couple of special shout outs. Uh, first of all, we want to thank the Bloomington Warehouse for allowing us to use this space tonight. Uh, we're here after hours and they uh, were gracious enough to allow us to use the space. So a big uh, special thank you to them. And if you're in Bloomington, please come check out this awesome recreational space that they have. Um, they're great people that run this place and we really appreciate them. Um, also, uh, we want to shout out our sponsor, uh, Skybreed Discs. Uh, please go to skybreed-discs.com for all of your disc golf needs. They have a ton of awesome stuff. They get special wedge stone drops, everything like that. Um, anything you want to add, Steve? No, thanks so much for joining us. And uh, we had a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to do. And hope you had fun watching. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.